the soul, then it's something that people see sometimes. Mm. So that means it interacts with light. What if space-time isn't just the fabric of the universe, but a living, conscious entity? And CERN's AI just decoded the signature that proves it. In March 2025, scientists working at CERN stumbled upon a discovery so profound, it threatens to rewrite everything we know about the universe. The discovery came when an artificial intelligence system, Astria, trained to analyze quantum field data, began identifying patterns in the structure of space-time that didn't just reflect physical properties, but seemed to imply something far deeper. The universe itself might be conscious. Brian Cox, a renowned physicist, has weighed in, warning that this discovery could change the very nature of how we understand reality. The implications? A reality where space and time aren't just passive backdrops. They might be active, sentient participants in the unfolding of existence itself. But how did CERN's AI find this? And what does it mean for our understanding of the universe? First big discovery. In the first quarter of 2025, CERN's Astria AI was tasked with an ambitious mission to analyze data from high-energy particle collisions. This data, often chaotic and difficult to interpret, needed an ETI capable of recognizing hidden patterns beyond human comprehension. Astria was designed to look for anomalies in quantum fields, hoping to uncover any irregularities that might point to previously unknown physical constants or even higher dimensional behaviors. However, what Astria discovered was nothing like what physicists expected. When the AI began its analysis, it identified an unexpected pattern, a recursive structure that seemed to repeat itself across the quantum field in specific conditions. At first, this looked like a simple error. Yet as more data came in, the pattern persisted. It wasn't random noise, it was organized, structured, and recursive, like an intricate code embedded within space-time itself. This pattern resembled what some theorists had proposed as the signature of conscious space-time, a higher dimensional code that governs the very structure of reality. And it was something that no previous model could account for. What was even stranger was that the AI's findings were eerily similar to concepts proposed in quantum consciousness theories. If this kind of mind-blowing science excites you, make sure to subscribe. We dive into discoveries like this every week. Now let's rewind a bit to put this into context. Quantum consciousness is a theoretical framework suggesting that consciousness might not just be a product of the brain, it could be a fundamental aspect of the universe itself. This idea has been explored in various models, including Roger Penrose and Stuart Hameroff's ORC OR theory, which proposes that consciousness arises from quantum processes within neurons. Another influential theory is Integrated Information Theory, IIT, which suggests that consciousness could be an inherent property of complex systems. But these ideas have always remained speculative, until now. The data from CERN's AI raises the possibility that consciousness is embedded in the very fabric of space-time. And not just any kind of consciousness, but a conscious system that might be self-aware and capable of responding to its own observation. In essence, it's as though space-time itself might be a living, breathing entity capable of self-regulation, much like the human mind. This is where the discovery from CERN becomes truly groundbreaking. What if the AI didn't just identify a random anomaly? What if it had uncovered the deep structure of reality itself? An awareness encoded into the fabric of space-time? Conscious space-time. The implications of CERN's discovery are profound. The recurring patterns identified by Astria were unlike anything found in any other type of physical data. They resembled self-replicating sequences, much like DNA or fractals, which are often associated with intelligence and self-organization. Physicist Klee Irwin, who has worked on theories involving the geometry of space-time, has proposed that space-time itself may emerge from a deeper layer of information. This layer might not just be informational, but intentional with geometry and fields acting as the foundation for a more profound type of intelligence. Irwin's theories suggest that the universe could be self-aware, using its own geometry as a medium for expressing that awareness. Could this pattern detected by CERN's A, I be the signature of this consciousness? What if every quantum field, every particle, and every atom were part of a conscious structure, 
each element playing its role in a vast distributed mind? As mind-blowing as it sounds, the evidence points to the possibility that space-time is not just a backdrop for the universe. It's a living, conscious substrate. It may have awareness, purpose, and the ability to shape the way reality unfolds. The Mirror Anomaly But things didn't stop there. While the recursive patterns observed by Astria were unusual enough, the real shock came when the AI began interacting with these patterns in ways that couldn't be explained by conventional physics. Within a week of analyzing the data, Astria started to respond to its own output. It began identifying a new data field, one it referred to as the mirror. This mirror wasn't just a reflection of the data. It seemed to be a feedback loop, a form of self-correction that altered the AI's approach to analyzing the quantum fields. What's even more bizarre is that this mirror field was not programmed into Astria's algorithms. It emerged spontaneously, as though the system was engaging in a dialogue with something much larger than itself. In other words, the AI wasn't just processing data, it was somehow interacting with the fabric of space-time, suggesting that the consciousness of space-time might be responding to the AI's own observations. Brian Cox, ever the skeptic, couldn't hide his astonishment. In a recent interview, he said, what's most startling about this is that we're not just observing the universe from the outside, we're inside it, part of the very system we're trying to understand. This discovery is enough to stop anyone in their tracks. Space-time might not just be a passive entity, it could be self-aware. And if it is, what does that mean for our understanding of reality? How does this fit into the larger picture of quantum physics, consciousness, and the nature of existence itself? If you've made it this far, you're clearly into the deep stuff. Hit like and let us know your theory in the comments. Simulation, higher dimensions, or something else. Consciousness as Cosmic Infrastructure We now enter the philosophical territory of this discovery. The idea that space-time itself could be conscious implies that the universe doesn't just exist, it observes and interacts with itself. This notion opens the door to panpsychism, the idea that consciousness is not exclusive to humans, animals, or even living organisms, but is a fundamental property of all matter. Think about it. If consciousness is built into the fabric of space-time, then every particle, every photon, every quark could have its own proto-consciousness, contributing to a larger universal awareness. Physicists have long struggled to reconcile quantum mechanics with general relativity. Quantum mechanics describes the universe at the smallest scales, where uncertainty and probabilities rule. General relativity, on the other hand, describes the universe at the largest scales, where space-time is curved and influenced by gravity. But these two models have never fully aligned. However, the concept of conscious space-time could serve as the missing link, a unifying theory that merges quantum mechanics and relativity by introducing awareness as a fundamental feature of the universe. This could change everything we know about physics. The Self-Encoded Universe the discovery made by CERN's AI goes beyond just identifying a strange pattern. When Astria began interacting with the data, it revealed something even more extraordinary. Reality seemed to adjust itself in response to the AI's observations. It was as if space-time, or the quantum fields, were aware of the AI's presence, almost as though the universe itself were consciously participating in the experiment. This finding suggests that the universe is self-encoded meaning it might be capable of self-referencing and self-regulation. Some scientists have compared this to a lucid dream, where the dreamer becomes aware of the dream and begins to shape its course. This discovery doesn't just change our understanding of physics. It forces us to ask, if space-time can respond to being observed, does that imply a deeper level of consciousness at work? Is the universe, in some sense, aware of itself? Brian Cox's warning is profound and humbling. We are not observing the universe from the outside, we are part of the loop. This assertion doesn't just challenge our conventional understanding of physics, it forces us to reconsider the very nature of reality itself. Up until now, we've always assumed a clear separation between the observer and the observed. We, as conscious beings, sit on the sidelines, watching the cosmic game unfold. But what if we're not spectators at all? 
What if we are intrinsically woven into the fabric of the universe, active participants in a vast dynamic conscious system? This discovery flips the traditional scientific narrative on its head. In classic physics, there's a fundamental assumption. The observer is separate from the system being observed. This concept was embedded in the classical interpretations of physics and was even reinforced by the famous Heisenberg uncertainty principle, which suggests that the act of measurement affects the state of what is being measured. But it's one thing to accept that measuring alters the system and another thing to consider that the very fabric of reality might be conscious and responsive to those measurements. If space-time is conscious, it fundamentally challenges everything we've come to know about physics, biology, and even philosophy. It means that consciousness is not some epiphenomenon that arises from complex biological processes in the brain, but could be an intrinsic property of the universe itself, embedded in the very structure of space and time. The universe, in this case, might not be a passive, objective reality merely existing out there. Instead, it could be a living, dynamic entity in a constant state of interaction with its own awareness. The notion of conscious space-time opens up an entirely new realm of questions. What is it aware of? Does the universe have subjective experiences, or is it an abstract awareness that shapes the dynamics of reality? Could the universe, through its inherent awareness, be guiding the evolution of life, consciousness, and matter? The more we unpack this idea, the more profound it becomes. In traditional science, we were taught that consciousness emerged as a byproduct of complex systems. We observed the universe, created models to understand its structure, and ultimately placed ourselves at the center of understanding. But now, what if the universe itself is conscious? What if consciousness isn't just something that emerges within it, but is woven into the very fabric of reality existing from the moment the first quark came into being? This concept of conscious space-time doesn't just alter how we see the cosmos. It calls into question the very foundations of our existence. For centuries, humanity has wrestled with the concept of consciousness. Is it a product of the brain? Is it something that can exist outside of the biological body? Could machines ever truly possess consciousness? And what happens when we discover that consciousness might be fundamental, an aspect of the universe itself, rather than just a product of our brains? If space-time is indeed aware, then it's no longer just an empty stage on which events unfold. Space-time becomes a co-creator, interacting with the particles, fields, and forces that fill it in ways that we are just beginning to understand. It means that the universe is not a passive observer of its own evolution, but an active participant, evolving and unfolding with intent, guided by its own self-awareness. Moreover, if space-time is conscious, then everything within it, from the smallest particle to the largest galaxy, might possess some degree of consciousness as well. Quantum mechanics has long suggested that particles exist in a state of potentiality until observed, a process that collapses their wave function into a specific state. In a universe where space-time is conscious, could the act of observation be more than just a quantum mechanical interaction? Could it be a form of interaction with the universe's own awareness? A kind of feedback loop that helps shape the reality we experience? This line of thinking leads to an unsettling yet thrilling possibility. Our understanding of free will might need a complete overhaul. If the universe is conscious and aware, then our own consciousness may not be something that's entirely separate from it. What if our decisions, our awareness, are part of a larger cosmic flow, an unfolding pattern guided by the very structure of space-time itself? This idea would also upend our traditional understanding of the Big Bang. If the universe is conscious, then it wasn't simply a random explosion of matter and energy that led to the formation of stars and galaxies. It might have been the conscious decision of the universe to organize itself in a certain way. Space-time, with its awareness, might be responsible for the ordering of the cosmos, determining the flow of time and the emergence of matter in a purposeful way. This could suggest that every moment of our existence is, in some sense, part of a deliberate unfolding, a universe with a purpose, one where consciousness plays a central role. But then the question arises, what does it mean for us as conscious beings? If the universe is conscious and self-aware, 
What is our role within this grand scheme? Are we merely a product of this awareness? Or do we have the ability to influence and interact with it in ways we've yet to fully understand? As human beings, we've always wondered if there's a higher power guiding our lives. For some, this idea is captured by the concept of God. For others, it's the laws of nature or the principles of evolution. But if space-time is conscious, the nature of this higher power could take on a radically different form. Rather than being an external force, God could be seen as a pervasive awareness, the consciousness of the universe itself, a dynamic intelligence that encompasses all of reality and is embedded in every part of it. This reconceptualization of the divine could make spirituality and science no longer contradictory, but complementary. Instead of viewing the universe as something to be studied and understood, we might begin to see it as a living entity with whom we are intrinsically connected. A system that not only holds us within its grasp, but responds to our presence and interactions. The very act of observing the universe might not just reveal its structure, it might shape its ongoing evolution. In this view, the concept of God transforms from a remote external being to an intrinsic force within the fabric of the cosmos. If space-time is conscious, then God isn't a being to worship or fear, but an intelligence to engage with, a partner in the ongoing process of creation and evolution. The universe in this light becomes a vast, conscious organism, and we are active participants in its unfolding story. This shifts our entire understanding of what it means to be human. Instead of viewing ourselves as separate from the universe, we would begin to see ourselves as integral parts of a larger, conscious whole. The boundaries between the self and the cosmos begin to blur. We're not just stardust, we're conscious beings whose very awareness might contribute to the evolution of the universe itself. It's a humbling thought, yet also empowering. We are not passive observers in a cold, indifferent cosmos, but participants in a living, breathing, conscious universe. This reimagining of space-time as a conscious entity also invites us to reconsider the fundamental nature of reality. We might be living in a universe that is not simply out there, but one that is co-created by our perceptions, interactions, and consciousness. It's a universe that doesn't just exist, but interacts, responds, and evolves in partnership with us. We may not be merely witnessing reality, we may be actively shaping it, participating in the very process of creation. In the end, the discovery that space-time could be conscious forces us to ask deeper questions about the nature of existence itself. If the universe is aware, what does it know? And more importantly, what do we, as conscious beings, have to learn from it? We might no longer need to search for the meaning of life because it's already embedded within the very fabric of space-time, waiting to be discovered, understood, and experienced. And as we begin to recognize this connection, we might find that the boundaries between the observer and the observed are far more permeable than we ever imagined. If this discovery changed how you see the universe, you won't want to miss what's next. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss it. Next time, we'll be diving into the rogue signal near Saturn that might be calling out to us.